hello, this is Angie with Angie's Crafting with Diamonds on YouTube and Instagram. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, it's great to meet you. I hope you will like and subscribe and come back and watch more content. Today I am doing my 2022 year in review of my finished canvases. I fell in love with this image. This is called Winter Oasis and the artist is Chuck Pinson and it's the first kit I pretty much did guys and I'm telling you it's square I learned a lot about that this kit is loaded absolutely loaded in ABs and I can turn that around and show you this thing is a B happy but as a newbie diamond painter that was a lot to absorb for a first go. Next up is Evening Melodies from Abraham Hunter. It's so big I can't quite fit it on my, t my little table that I'm using. But look at the shine. Isn't that insane? And this was the first kit that I added bling to. You can see I added uh, sparklers, aut autumn flame sparklers to the fire. And I put a couple of them up into the trees. And up into here. This was my first adventure in multiple blues and it took me a long time to do this kit. This is 93 by 30, 93 by 70 centimeters and it has 31 colors and it was, yeah, I absolutely love the image. This kit is Friend of Maidens by Mandy Banzano from Diamond Art Club. I worked on this kit during the Mermaids and Magic event and the Magical Mandy event, which ran all year. I also really blinged this kit up and it was my first round. And you can see I added crystals throughout the mermaid and throughout the orca. This kit is called Paint the Stars from Raven Philan, and I believe it's still available at Diamond Art Club. It comes with 45 colors. And to this kit, I have absolutely loaded it with crystals and quad cubes from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. In here are pineapple glow glass drills from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. And there was never a dull moment. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for such a pretty piece of art to work on. And thank you, Raven Phelan, for creating the original. This is called Hummingbird Garden by Steve Reed from Diamond Art Club. It has 57 colors. And if you have a look here, you can see the bird where I completely blinged up this bird. It looks like a discotheque bird. It's just so shiny. I had so much fun. And I didn't keep track of what I used where. I just, it was just free for all. Putting in whatever I wanted, when I wanted all the way into here you can see so you can see into the bird here up into the wings all the way through Let's look at this guy here he's all blinged out too all red in the throat yeah this is another raven phelan kit this i believe is called let me just double check just simply called phoenix I really enjoyed working on this kit and I added tons of bling, quad cubes and crystals throughout the whole thing. And I tried to make some changes to the eye. I wasn't really very excited about the whole eye situation. I tried to change the look of it. Kind of have a mixed feeling about it, but uh, yeah, I really like that. And if I zoom in, you can see what I did with the Phoenix's face and all the way through down to the bottom into the butterflies. You can see that that is all crystal people and tons of quad cubes from Tima from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. It was a beautiful kit to work on. I just love the colors. This is Winged Princess from Diamond Art Club. Uh, the artist's name is Sandra Winther. And it's hmm, 56 by 69 with 26 colors, to which I completely added tons of 775 ABs and multiple colors of gray crystals 
and blue crystals. Um, this was a lot of fun to work on. It was my first person that I had done. And I also used this kit uh, to participate in the Princess Along on Lindsay, Lindsay's channel, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, which was a lot of fun. It was a great event. So I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see some of her crystals. I put them in her hair and not in her face, but you know, around her hair for highlights and all the way around and through. You can see I added tons of bling all the way in the blues. So yeah, it was super fun. This is Flight of the Lynx from Diamond Painting Deutschland. By far my favorite kit of the year and probably my biggest achievement simply because it was 160 colors and I added in at least 50 colors of ABs, or sorry, ABs, crystals. <laughs> so I'll just show you that because I can't quite fit her on the page. So we'll zoom in and you can take a look at that a little bit more. And I'll just, I'll just pull her around because it seems to work better. You can see here all the crystals in the confetti. I'm telling you, I don't know if I'll ever do quite this many crystals again. And, it, and I couldn't pre-plan it because she was covered in release paper. So I had to do it section by section. Let me pull this down. You can see the flowers all the way through to the butterfly. All the way up to the butterfly wings. And the flowers down there. So I will do a, I, I'll have a separate posting for her because I will be doing more Josephine Wall coming up really soon from Diamond Painting Deutschland. I have quite a few more in my stash. This is Catching Dreams by the artist Chuck Pinson in round from Diamond Art Club. I believe it has been recently discontinued. It is round and it is 71 by 56 with 47 colors. And I added in uh, crystals, all in the sails here. You can see it in the masts and along the front of the sail. I blinged that all up. I added some reds in the flowers down here. And it's pretty common that people say this isn't rendered very well. And it's true. It's because it's around. And, you know, it's an older kit, but I still enjoyed doing it because I... I go sailing with my husband and that's uh, how we spend our summers. So this felt like a summer vacation to work on. Yeah, so it was a pretty little kit to work on. I enjoyed it. Welcome dragon lovers. I love dragons. I love fantasy. Of course, I didn't really realize that until I started diamond painting. Like I said earlier, I was started out thinking I was gonna do landscapes, but no, then I found Raven Phelan's art. So I had to do this. And the only real embellishments I did on this was that I changed his eye, that I made that green with green crystal. Because there were just so many blue ABs that come with this kit that just create the pop that you need with the accents here. That I just love this, this was so fun. This is called I Am and it is 51 by 71. It has 29 colors from Diamond Art Club. Well, this is a fan favorite. I think it's they're still selling this on the website. This is DAC's Dragon Attack. It comes with 67 colors. It is 91 by 70. And this one took me a long time. I think because it's liney. And I'm, I know that sounds weird, but everything's in lines. So it goes this way or that way. It's not spread in the confetti uh, type. I wouldn't call this, to me this is not confetti, but uh, it's also not heavy color blocking. I call it liney. But there's quite a few uh, ABs in here. And my, I did this for my son because he's a uh, Dungeons and Dragons fanatic. And 
it doesn't show and I've not been able to record the glow in the darks that I've done. And I think that's part of what took me so long is all of this here along the front of the sail and all the flames and all the edges on this dragon and its head and the flames going this way are all glow in the darks. I added glow in the darks up in the green of this dragon as well. And, but basically I focused on this, the main part of the bottle seat. But this was, this is a great kit. It came with more than enough colors. It satisfied all the colors that I crave and I really enjoyed doing it. Here we are back looking at Call of the Wild from Chuck Pinson. I did this for the uh, fall events for the Chuck Along and, oh, I don't remember the name of the events because I've been in so many events this year and, and I don't have them all memorized. It was the one with uh, Diamonds and Washi uh, on the fall, the fall themed event. Anyways, this was a lot of fun to work on. It's got medium confetti. Uh, I think this would actually do better in a larger, uh, a larger canvas, even though we don't want to hear that, because I think some of the rendering for the animals, which is fun, gets lost when in the rendering. But overall, I like the theme and the autumn feel of the kit, and I blinged up all the trees in here. Oh, there's tons of highlights and ABs. I added ABs and all these flowers all around. There's no crystals. And it came with two ABs, and I think I added in another four or five more. But you can see them here. I got more ABs in here and a lot of yellows. I added in all in here in these trees. I added in some more reds. So I believe this came with one yellow AB and one white AB. So all the purples in here, down here with the bears, all these are all ABs going in. Yeah, overall it was a uh, overall, this was a great experience with all these ABs that I added in. So that's Chuck Pinson, Call of the Wild, and it is 93 by 70 in square. Now we're getting into Christmas. And actually, I've been working on more kits than just the ones you've seen so far. I have several whips that are half done. And I realized if I had finished the two kits, two of the four kits, I would have had two more finishes. <laughs> Anyways live and learn, right? So now my mission is to finish my my whips as quickly as possible. So anyway, so this is Gingerbread Lighthouse from Diamond Art Club. This is, the art is from Alan Guiana. It is licensed from Dreamer Designs. If I said Diamond Art Club, that's my mistake. I think I'm just on repeat right now because I've been through so many canvases. Please accept my apologies for that. This is round and it is 80 by 60 centimeters and it has comes with 60 colors. And I used the colors that the kit came with. I did not add any extra, why is it lifting drills? I did not add anything extra to this kit. I left it true to the way it came. The one thing I did have trouble with with this kit was reading the drill field. It was really hard to differentiate in some of the symbols, especially in the trees. There's a couple here. This, this one, 3021. What was the other one? 3787 here. And which one was it? I'll never forget for the rest of my life. This 938. They were really hard to see. And this one, this was even worse. This one that says H3799, all those colors were together in the trees. And I just, it, it's all the base dark greeny sort of browny gray green colors that are in the base. And yeah, it was really hard on my eyes because everything was blurry. And I know, and why are my drills lifting? Oh, wow. This will probably be the only Dreamer Designs kit I do for a really long time. I have several more in my stash, but after this experience, I need a really long vacation from it. Uh, yeah, but I did love the image. It's one of the first kits I bought last winter. 
because I thought this was just so fun. I love gingerbread houses. I used to make them every year from scratch with my mom and my sisters every year. And uh, that brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. And I just thought this was fun. It's down at the beach. It's nighttime. You know, it's a great image. It really is. Hopefully they'll redo it with the new drills and the new, new printing. Okay, great. This is the Blue Fairy. I have loaded the Blue Fairy with crystals. I have several bling and chats about that. See her bodice and her wings here? You can see that. I've blinged all of that up all the way through with crystals. And it was a lot of fun. I started this kit in July from the Magical Mandy event. And I finished it just a couple of days ago. See the quad cube in her wand? It turned out really well. I really like it. Yeah, and that ties in with the sparkles in her wings. Here. And this is my last finish for the year. This is Gingerbread House from Diamond Art Club. Uh, it was a nice snack size kit. It's the smallest one that I did this year. And I filled it full of all kinds of crystals. And I found there was extra white ABs in the kit. I started at the bottom and I had lots of white ABs as I went up. So I added them in around the top of the uh, frosting here, which made it extra sparkly. Sparkly, look at that. The sparkle in this was pretty amazing. I think that has to do with uh, the new drills. So that's it for 2022. I'm glad you stopped in to check out what I've been doing. I have a lot more interesting things coming up on my channel and I'm really looking forward to 2023 and getting to know more people. Please like and subscribe and come back for more content. I'm glad you stopped in. Bye!